everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be making some wax seals so if you want to craft along with me go ahead and get some supplies out um, I'm gonna be doing a bit of experimenting in this video um, I have some ideas we're gonna do some things um, I am you know pretty new to wax seals but you know it's okay I, I want to see if I can find some fun new techniques I have some ideas so earlier today I made um, these hopefully it's focusing it's kind of hard to see because it's really bright outside um, so I made these earlier I do only have two actual like wax seal stamps um, so I only have two design options. One is um, a pentacle and one is an R. Um, so I will be using those today. And then I have these, um, my Melody stamps that my husband brought from Japan. And I just, they've just been like kind of on display. I haven't used them, but I wanna see if I can make some mini seals and maybe use these. We'll, we'll see. Hopefully I don't ruin these stamps. Um, and then I'm going to try some other things as far as making stamps. Or no, as far as making the seals go. So I have some sequins here. And I want to try a little something. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on right there. Um, and I want to try making some clear seals with hot glue and putting some sequins in it so i'm gonna go ahead and try that right now um and then i also want to do some glitter ones so i'm actually going to open this i'm going to stick a glitter one in there right now and i'm just gonna start experimenting don't know how well this is gonna work um but I'm hoping it turns out okay uh, I don't know <laughs> we'll see how it turns out maybe I'll put some of these at the bottom and do some hot glue on top just being experimental right now oh looks like the silver is starting to come through maybe I can make a mini one let's try a mini one I'm gonna try this one right here this glitter one is very stringy Let me put this down. Let's see if the first one is dry. So I am using um, parchment paper underneath. Um, and it comes right off the parchment paper super easily. Just hoping it comes off the seal easily. Okay, that actually wasn't too difficult. Looks a little odd, but it's okay. <laughs> Try and take these random bits off here, and I can cut those off later. Just hot glue, it'll come off really easily. Oh, oh, came off that one super easily. So I think I'm going to need to be, is this, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if the glitter one works so well, 
You can't really see the detail of the stamp. I'm going to try the glitter with one of the bigger stamps and see how that goes. And I do have some other um, like actual wax seal wax here. Um, and that's what the pink is. The pink is like one of these stick waxes. Um, so I grabbed two colors of that. And then I'm also going to be trying another technique where I mix pieces of glue stick and pieces of crayon and melt them in one of these thingies. So let's see how that goes. Um, if you're doing this and you're trying to make a bunch of wax seals to use later, like I am, uh, use parchment paper like I'm using. Don't use um, wax paper because they will not come off the wax paper very easily and you might get paper stuck to the bottom because what happens when you pour hot wax onto other wax, it melts the other wax and they bind. So not great. So the glitter kind of makes it hard to see like straight on the design, but you can see it if you kind of start turning it. Um, so I think it, I think it's okay. Come on, don't break, don't break. Like, so the hot glue comes off of this wax seal stamp very easily, but it kind of struggles on my other one. I don't know why. I think this might end up breaking. <sighs> the thing about the, the hot glue is it is very pliable. So, oh. Yes, okay, that came off. Mm, I don't like how that one came out. You see how it's kind of like turned? So I don't, I'm not a big fan of how this one came out. I think this one came out pretty good. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. I want to see how it looks with sequins. Let's try. Let's try some sequins. coming in through here. Hold on. That is not dry. The hot glue does dry fast, but not that fast, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna try one more with a small stamp. Let's see if I can get it to look okay. I'll try by not pushing down too hard on the stamp. Okay, so I'm gonna start prepping my crayons. So I have these super cheap crayons that I probably got at the Dollar Tree or something. Um, 
I am just going to unwrap them. And um, these crayons are so cheap that they probably have enough wax in them, like filler in them, that I might not need the, the glue sticks. But I'm going to use the glue sticks because the hot glue is a lot more pliable and um, I want it to be able to come off the seals easily. So... Uh, it doesn't look as cool with the silver. It looks cooler with the clear. Whatever. So we're experimenting, you know? So it's okay. Again, with the glitter, it just doesn't look as cool as it does in the clear. And there's another little mini stamp. I feel like the mini stamps would be cooler, like it would look cooler if they were clear stamps. I can still use them though, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this tea light and I need my lighter. I need to go grab that. So let's first prep the stuff. So I'm going to get a glue stick. I'm just going to cut this into the pieces. I'm just going to cut this whole glue stick up. Okay, glue stick is cut up. Now I'm going to cut the crayon up. Ooh. And yeah, as you can see, this is much harder less pliable so it's kind of just snapping really and going everywhere which is why you need the hot glue because wax seal wax is more pliable okay I'm gonna go ahead and light this move these over here ah, move these over here it's over here Now I don't have one of those little stands that the spoon stands on, or like rests on, so I'm kind of just going to have to um, hold it there. But, um, I don't know how long it takes for this to melt, so hopefully I'm not just sitting here for forever. Should have brought a toothpick or something to like mix them together once they're melted, but it's fine. I really do like the clear with the sequins. I think it looks really cool. It's gonna take some practice to get the placement of the sequins. 
to work perfectly. Maybe I'll use, this is weird. I'm gonna use a colored pencil to try and mix it. The um, hot glue is taking longer to mix in the wax, the crayon. So, that's okay though. I think that's good. Go ahead and pour that. I think I might have put too much. Wax on it. Yeah, I think I put too much wax. Wax. When I say wax, I mean the crayon. <laughs> so let's see. I put two. Crayons. Let's try one crayon this time. One chunk of crayon. Mix that together. Okay. Pour that over here. Put that there. I think this one's dry. Oh, that actually came out really, really nicely. Ooh. Now, I think that this will probably be a little bit more fragile than using actual wax meant for making wax seals, but it did turn out really cool. So, I'm gonna do some more while wow, that is getting very charred down there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. And while this one dries, actually mine almost be done. And then I think after this one, I will do some with the little wax seal stamps. Oh, that came right off. That one came out really nice. I like it. And the color of the actual wax seal does end up coming out more vibrant than the color of the crayon. If you can see. It definitely came out like more green than teal. that up and give it another few seconds there's still a little chunk of uh, hot glue in there zoom you guys in just a teensy bit pour this out stick that on there and then I'm gonna start making some with this go ahead and light it These sticks do take a bit longer. I mean, maybe they don't take longer, but you have to sit here and kind of drip it. I'm just going to set that there to cool. And this one should be done. Wow, these ones just pop right off so easily. Okay. 
I'm gonna put another glue stick in so I can do some more clear ones. I gotta kind of um, work this blue one out of the way. Pop that one off. I like the actual wax seal stamp, how it comes out so like glossy and shiny. Yes. Okay. So now there's like. Oops, there's like ash everywhere from the wax. So. A little clear in here. I don't know, it doesn't need it quite yet. Okay. blue glitter left. No! I did it too soon. Don't have anything to stamp it with. <laughs> This one's not quite dry yet. that came out a bit better. I think maybe because um, I put more um, hot glue. Perhaps. Is this one ready? That one didn't come out as opaque, just because it did have some clear in there. That's fine. Oh no no, that one ripped. 
it wasn't ready it's not ready to come off yet oopsie I guess I started getting impatient okay I think these are gonna be the last ones that I make for now but I'm super impressed with how these crayon ones came out I'm gonna blow that out so I don't burn myself these ones came out really nice I actually really like the blue one too And then these clear ones with the sequins. I think they're really cool. Let's see if this will come off now. It did rip a little bit, but it's okay. Not a huge deal. Go ahead and unplug this so it doesn't drip everywhere. I'm so happy. This is so fun, making wax seals. I just need more stamps. Um, one, because it would be nice to have different design options, but also, um, the more stamps you have, the more you can make at once. So I can make these really quickly if I had a bunch of stamps. Still a little sticky. I don't know. What do you guys think about the... Rip that off. What do you guys think about the silver with the... I mean, you can't really see the design. Like... So I don't know how I feel about the silver with the sequins. Like the blue with the sequins. I don't know. I don't think I like them. Mm, I'll probably still use them. Just because, I mean, I have them, so I might as well. But I don't think I'll be making any more of those. Let's see. Okay. This one looks pretty cool. It does have a little bit of uh, glitter still in there, which is fine. You see? That's fine with me. Oh, I think I like it. It's cool. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. It's going to be all the wax seals I'm making for the day. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I think I'm going to try to experiment with making some more mini... Actually, you know what? No. Let's do something else. I'm not a huge fan of how they look with the glitter, but it might be because of the glitter. So I am going to make a mini one with an opaque color. So I'll just do the gold. Where did I put my lighter? I'll do a gold and a yellow one. This wick doesn't want to light. And when you do that, it catches fire. Yeah, this wick does not want to light, so I'm just gonna, this is not turning out great. There we go, now it's lit. 
Okay, I'm just gonna put that off to the side. That one's not cooperating. Might end up cutting that one into pieces. So, do that and let's try to make a yellow one. Wait for them to dry. There's so much smoke everywhere now. The only problem, mm, I don't know, there's a little mini, mini wax seal there. That failed. <laughs> Punched a hole right through it. No. <laughs> no, no, it looks like a monster. Well, that's, that's disappointing. I think I'm probably going to give up on the mini seal thing. It's just not turning out cute so I'm just gonna stick to regular size wax seals but that is it for today I am very happy with how these came out I'm excited to use these in my crafting and yeah I'm excited to make more of these crayon ones like that was these came out really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get one of those like little things that this sits on top of so I don't have to sit there and hold it while, while uh, the wax melts. But um, otherwise, I really like how it came out. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and crafting along with me if you did. Um, go ahead and like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. I mean, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.